candlepin bowling is a New England tradition and a sport enjoyed by both girls and boys of all ages. Our show brings the game to the younger generation, showcasing bright futures and brighter smiles. Host Dan Gothier is joined by special co-host Mike McIntosh in a pro series special of Candlepin for Kids. Candlepin for Kids would not be made possible without its generous sponsors, Oddball Sporting Goods, Paramount Industries, and individual donators like you. To learn how to donate, go to www.cp4k.com. All right, welcome back to a special edition of Candlepin for Kids Pro Series Doubles Knockout Event. I'm your host, Dan Shugoth here, and I'm here with Mike McIntosh. How's How it feel Dan? to be back, Mike? It feels great. I'm so much more comfortable this time than last time. <laughs> I know, me too. It was a rough the last time. It was both of our first times in these roles. As uh, some of our opponents, same first time on our show, too, since we've never had adults before. Uh, for those in the audience who don't know what we're doing today, we've had a big event, 100 kids and adults combined today. Um, we've had knockout rounds, six knockout rounds is doubles knockout the winners move on we're down to only um, three teams left uh, we had a winning team last week who won last week Mac last week it's a challenge is a trivia question <laughs> <laughs> last week it was DJ Trask DJ Trask and, and, and Colleen Dumas and so they're already Dumas. waiting for the winner of this match in the finals uh, this match we're gonna take a seat right now we're introduce who's actually in this match I'm gonna swing it over to Robbie for an introduction a girl who has won the Triple Crown of Portsmouth, the States, and the Atlantic Coast Championships joins a 2008 World Champion. It's Kylie Josefiak and Jeff Surrett. A youngster with an explosive first ball joins a pro who's still going strong at the age of 50. It's Jamie Crush Smith and Craig Holbrook. Now let's send it back to Shu and Mac. Shu? <laughs> All right, welcome back. We're about ready to start here. Jamie Schmidt's wiping his ball clean. He's going to face off against Kylie Josefiak. Uh, Jamie can throw out the first ball anytime he wants. I'm going to switch around our uh, sheets here so it'll be a little easier to take a look at our fun facts for these kids. Jamie Schmidt's been with us before. I know he likes to be called crushed. He comes all the way from out in Western Mass down in Fun Time Lanes in Holyoke. Oh, start. He made the trip worth it with that shot. This is going to be a study in the contrast of two completely different bowling styles here in this match. Right. I mean, Crush obviously likes that nickname for a reason. He just crushed a very difficult seven pin leave that he had up there. And Kylie, you know, nice, easily, and gently ran down the one, two, four. Yeah, she seems like she can put the ball pretty much wherever she wants. So accurate, Kylie Giuseppe. Yeah. In the long run, I mean, I'm going to say this right now after she missed the head pin and Crush hit it. I might say she, in some ways she might be the more accurate bowler. Crush certainly has the action and the speed on his side. And it's definitely got, you know, nice, nice shot by Crush. Oh, that was a pretty delicate shot right there. So he, yeah, he's he, trying to show us his, his soft side too. He's got a share of accuracy. I don't mean to suggest he's not accurate. He actually had a good ball. It's his tender side there came through on that shot. <laughs> Two marks in a row for Crush. And Dave. Godwin shagging a ball for us. Let's hear it for Dave. <laughs> Got a nice blue shirt. Looks just like our candlepin for kids shirts there. <laughs> Schmidt with a one pin and a ball lead. Dave was also one of the most winningest, most full bowlers of all time. Yeah. <laughs> On your kids show. Yeah. Uh, I think certain people like uh, Dave Godwin obviously and uh, John uh, Boudreau have won their share. Oh, you got his last name right. Yeah, I remembered it this time. Uh, I've got it written down on the palm of my hands. A little crib note. <laughs> Kylie Josephi, I can't forget her name. Best friends with my family, obviously. She comes over to my house all the time. Friends with her dad. Bowling her dad's bowling alley all the time. Yeah, I'm trying to get familiar with a lot of these kids. I haven't seen them nearly as much as you have, but uh, they all seem pretty, they're all very likable and, and down to earth, so it's fun to be around. Kylie hasn't done as many stops in the last year with us on Candlepin for Kids, but she has the longest winning streak on our show, by far for girls. She made it on the Comcast show, too, for kids, um, which doesn't have a girls' division. She just made it with the boys, and she actually won one match before she got knocked out by uh, JJ, John Joyce. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, she had a good, I remember she hit the head pin the first ten, uh, nine boxes she threw on TV. Ball breaks a little left there on that one. Schmidt and Holbrook off to the early nine pin lead. And Jamie qualified today with a 354 in our challengers match, which would have been enough to make it on the adult side. Yes. 
Yes, we had an exciting finish. The, the cut for the adults was 349, but we actually had a four-way tie, and we had to have a one-string roll-off where three of the bowlers moved on, and unfortunately one did not. Mr. Putney didn't make it, right? It's probably the one I would have predicted would have made yeah, it out surprisingly of those four. And it shows you one string, you never know. You never know. We watched. He was going through the head pin. He was having a couple tough breaks, and one oh. string goes by pretty quick. Well, that was a good Speak ball by Kylie Giuseppe. I still have a 5 10 with no wood. And Kylie qualified today with a 355, one pin higher than Jamie. So these two were virtually dead even in their qualifying match. Wow. That's amazing. She should applaud herself for that shot. Is that, is that what I said earlier? One of the more accurate bowlers you'll ever see? Kicks the five into the that's, ten. That's one of the toughest spare leaves in the game. Are you kidding me up there? <laughs> are you kidding me? Her partner Jeff is, are you kidding she me is up serious. there? <laughs> Jeff Surratt, Craig Holbrook. Who could have predicted these two would be in our final four? <laughs> Life is full of surprises. Oh, these two. They're everywhere you look. Every no. finals match involved in the Pro Series usually has one of these two involved in it. I looked over with one box to go in the matches leading up to this when we still had eight teams and we're filming the final four right now. I saw Jeff on the verge of a 200. On the verge. I was actually watching him instead of bowling my 93 game. <laughs> I was watching his almost 200 game right next to me. It was a lot more exciting. Let's see, because I'm curious. Let's see what Jeff's high single actually is. 204, so he would have... Uh, 204, which I believe was here at Woburn last year on Friday nights in the Pro League. Um, yeah, I think he had a 466 triple and a 204 first game, I believe. So this is obviously a house he enjoys and has had some success at. Yeah, there aren't too many that he doesn't enjoy or have success at, but it's a good point. He's, he's one of my he's one of my best friends, and um, I have the pleasure of seeing him bowl a lot more than you know a lot of people do. So it's it's a treat. Well, look at this now. Craig Holbrook is almost twice the age of Jeff Surratt. <laughs> We had one team today, Mac. I was joking around with a lot of people, and what a hammer. Craig heard your comment about his age. That's right. He says, I may be technically old enough for the senior tour, but <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Yeah. <laughs> if I was on the senior tour, I would not want to be seeing him come onto that tour. So, yeah, I was saying there was, uh, looking at some of the ages of these contestants, we had one team today that was bowling that made the finals, and they won one round. It was Billy Bloom and uh, Olivia Boomhauer, where you figured out their average age for the team, and it was 14. So an adult a child with an average age of 14. Yeah, Billy fresh off uh, the, the youth program in the last year or two. Yeah, he's only uh, 18 and paired up with a 9-year-old girl, so. <laughs> or 19, but... <clears throat> Right through the middle there. Yeah, that's rough. He's got two balls to try to get his count. Jeff Question. doesn't capitalize on it too much there. Question everyone wants to know is, will Holbrook just win another event? How many how many events has he won, do you think, in the last year or so for uh, Pro Series? The last, uh, he's probably won about four or five total over the last two years, including some doubles events and the singles event. He was the bowler of the year the first year, which over the year he accumulated points in each event and he just ran away with it the first year. Took home the title. Jeff playing it safe there, taking out the 6-10, uh, leaving the head pin. So these guys are having a close match. So that's up one point on Holbrook. And in the first bowlers, our two kids, Kylie and, and Jim, are, they virtually bowl even. You know, you got a 63 versus a 54 in a ball, so a nine fell and they've, they're even there. It's a close match all the way across. Neither team's jumping out to a big Craig, lead. Craig punching two, scratching his head. All right, run down. Craig's funny to watch. He does a lot of thinking on the lanes, but you, you can't say it doesn't work. I personally usually wish I could turn my brain off. I know. Most, most of the listeners would probably figure that I've turned it off to do the announcing. Why can't I turn it off the ball, you know? <laughs> Jeff took down the four horsemen like yes. it was nothing. Nice shot. Ho hum, just Ho -hum another four ten. Six. Nah, no big deal. <laughs> and if Kylie can cut the you know, five ten, I'll just pick up the four six. <laughs> so Sorette, like like his partner Kylie, both working on marks here, trying to make up a small deficit. Two fills ought to be able to make it up. One of Jeff's proudest moments is being a part of the Maria Subs team who took home the Men's World Championship in 2008. It was his first title and it was Get up there and get invited. I might get on a good team and win it all. Look at this shot by Craig Holbrook. 
<laughs> He's, he, I don't even know what to say to that. Craig is not at a loss for words, but I am. <laughs> is, what a wow. clinic being put on. And with that note, <laughs> clinic being put on. our bowlers are taking a seat with some spectacular finishes to the half. Surrett sitting on 62 in a ball, Holbrook 52 in a ball. This match is so close. We're going to take a break, come back in a minute, let you know where we stand, and have our second halves. Don't go away.